Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Cross Beans Production. Back here with Nate to Eight, and this is Cross Beats Production. So I want to review this little tape plugin that I found. It's by Overloud, and uh, it's actually a really good tape plugin or an emulator if you could uh, look at it that way. Uh, so basically, what it is, it's two things um, that I can see, and it seems to be quite well at doing both of them. So basically, it can allow you to emulate the uh, the exit of a console. So basically, from an SSL point of view, I guess that's where they're looking at. So the S4000. Um, the N80 and the T88. Uh, basically the, the pre's that they have on there, the mic pre's, and also just the way that the console functions, um, the sounds and the things like that, the, the harmonics that the console uh, produces, that it allows it to replicate those types of sounds. Um, so basically what it also functions as is a tape machine, and it does that pretty well as well in my opinion. Um, I've looked at it in several different um, settings, I guess. I've done it on drum mixes, I've done it on a full bus, and um, later on I'm going to do it on some vocals and stuff like that. Uh, so, so far in this tutorial or demo, I want to show you just it on a drum bus and it on a master bus as well, um, so you guys can hear for yourselves and uh, take it from there. So, basically what I've done here, I've tried to level match as much as I possibly can so that you don't get fooled by the loudness or the increase in volume. And um, this this funky little thing here, it's got this link button here anyway, so it allows you to turn the dial here, which is basically the input, and um, put the playback so the playback level is almost the same volume as it was at the start. So um, that, that's a really great feature as far as making or makeup gain or things like that. So you're not you know fooling yourself to think that just because of the increase in volume, it actually sounds better, whereas uh, this is trying to eliminate that. Uh, it's got three tape settings, so 30, 15, 7.5. It's got this bias button here, which is just normal and over, and a wow flutter button as well, um, which is quite um, useful if you want to have some sort of different effects and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much a fantastic little plugin. It's quite cheap at the moment. It's on special. I think it's the introductory price as well. Um, I don't make anything from making this video. Uh, it's just something I want to review and show you guys. So the track that I've made, it's obviously mine, you've heard it before. So I'll just play this track, I'll play it on the drums first so you can hear that, and uh, then I'll play it on the actual full mix and then we can go through it from there. So what I'm going to do throughout this is just switch between the three different consoles as well. I'm just going to switch between all the types of tape speed and mess around with the bias and stuff like that so we can actually just get some different sound out of it and see how it goes. I'll drive it hard into the tape as well. This is the input and this is the output, so you can see the inputs driving into it when I play it. And um, I'll just mess around with the tolerances and everything else like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let's get to it.
All right. So, in my opinion, I think it sounds great. I think that obviously through the Tate speeds and stuff like that, they do sound different and they do have their own character and, and stuff like that. Um, I, I normally found that with the 30, 30 Tate Speed 30, it's kind of more high end, high end stuff, like the high end frequencies kind of stick out a bit more, less bottom end. Um, the 15 inches is more like the bottom end type stuff that you hear. 7.5, again, it's more the high end stuff. Um, again, it does come down to how you drive it as well. You know, when you when I was playing it, you know, you could see it, the needle was just hitting the 20 at that last part, and it was actually just really just minimally driving the tape. And um, it basically seems to work quite well when you're doing it that way. Yeah, versus, you know, doing it with it driven really hard. Um, again, you, you get some different characteristics driving it hard. That's not, not an issue at all. It's just that I like to hear the different sounds through the different levels of driving the tape. Um, the console thing, it sounded fantastic. I mean, this this thing that you can switch out three different consoles and, and hear the different console sounds and harmonics in that, I just think that's a really great thing. And you don't even need to load it in another instance. You can just switch it, and that's that's really great. Um, again, you know, on drums, obviously, it has an interesting sound. Uh, it thickens up your drums. It makes them sound like they're together, I guess, more, and the compression in the tape and stuff like that makes them sound like that. Um, the interface here, I think the interface is fantastic as well. It's it's just cool. It's nice to see something that's actually functioning and little tape reels rolling around and stuff. Um, so let's hear it on a full mix and see what we get out of that. And um, I'll then just give you my final uh, finish up words there. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this then from there. So I'm going to play this on the whole entire mix and I'll play it from there and I'll see what like what I get out of it. I'll just mess around again with the settings and see how we go. So let's play it on the full mix.
So that's it, I think, for this video. And let me know what you guys think about this plugin in the comments. Let me know if you have any thoughts about it, what your ideas and stuff like that are. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I think it's a really great plugin. It gives you some unique sound. Definitely has that warmth that tape tape has, and um, it it definitely contender for for other tape plugins that I've seen out there, especially against the waves and stuff like that. Uh, waves plugins, the tape ones, I don't seem to really enjoy that much. Um, UAD, some of their tape emulations are pretty good, and I've heard some of them, and they're really good. Slate Digital, I guess they're they're also quite good as well. Um, but this, for the price, it's actually a really good plugin. Um, check it out for yourselves. You can demo it for, I think, 15 days and uh, before you purchase and then take it from there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Otherwise, catch you on the next one. Peace. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Crass Beans Production.